Hello guys and welcome to this new series, a mini series, a Let's Detail series. Now the Let's Detail series is going to be pretty much just small little builds, highly detailed, along with a collection from the workshop to allow you guys to imitate, copy or just get inspiration for new builds of your very own. So let's begin with episode one, which is the churchyard. Now I mentioned my collection for each of these episodes is going to be released and what this is is pretty much just a collection on the workshop outlining every single asset, deco, etc that I used with this build to create it really. So it gives you an idea on what I've been using, allows you to cherry pick items you like. Obviously it's not going to cover everything because there is loads of churches for example on the workshop. I've just selected this one and a couple of others that I like the look of just to give you a bit of a head start when it comes to building your own designs. And the goal for this mini series is pretty much just to get a community going here, hoping that people will suggest a few ideas that they'd like me to design, throw in some assets or props that you'd like me to design something with, and we can pretty much work this all together and see what we can come up with. So I'm hoping that this will um, not only inspire the new players of the games, but also the intermediate and expert players. I know we all take um, ideas from one another, so I'm just hoping this will just inspire and spark some new project builds that we can all enjoy together. So the church, as you can see, is taking shape already. We've already selected the church, which is this beautiful church made by Los Gecko. And we're just going for a traditional British themed church or European I guess you can get away of saying um, and for the, first of all the thing that I always start with is put the main prop down that you're going to be designing it with so in this instance it's the church and then build your surroundings first so we're going to lay this place out first and uh, get that down at least then we've got a, a sort of a, a template to work from. Now the mods I use don't generally change, if anything the new ones that come out I add to my mod list. So I didn't include the mods that I used in the workshop collection folder for this particular build, but I do have my own independent uh, mods folder um, from, the, from another collection which um, will be linked in the description below. So you can see every single mod that I am currently using and because it's the mods I use they will be updated regularly with anything new that I decide to start using. So certainly a good focal point for anyone starting the game to uh, make sure they're using the best mods that are out there. So moving back to the churchyard, what we're putting down now is a selection of the tombstones. and. This did give me an idea halfway through this build that we would try our best to create something a little bit different. I don't know what it's like throughout the whole of Europe and the rest of the world, but in the UK you either have a burial or a cremation. And with a cremation, you don't tend to have tombstones. You have little sort of concrete plaques, which I'm sort of using here. Um, and I decided to try this out and it did actually work out pretty damn good. We use the concrete slabs and just try to create the look of what a cemetery would look like. Um, churches you tend to find both in there together as well so it did suit the theme nicely and uh, I think that worked pretty well. You'll see a bit later on the video we add a bit more detail to it but what we're doing here as well is the tombstones from the workshop, they look great, yes, can't deny that, but what else do you see at churches? You see the flowers. So we're putting a few plants down here to sort of replicate the, the flower to the choice. And you do tend to see some um, gravestones where the actual part where the body lies in front of the actual tombstone is covered in all flowers. So I wanted to replicate all the different types of um, sort of burials and uh, sort of plaques etc that there is uh, generally certainly in the UK and sort of put them all down together and give you the option to create what you want to create. Now I think the key in my opinion anyway to a good realistic build is not making things too square and regular. So for example these tombstones here I'm just sort of planting around the actual churchyard because in churches you don't always have everything sort of like for like and all in the right areas 
things are a bit screw if and you know things happen differently it's not always perfect angles etc and what I'm doing here is I'm using the flower bed um, prop to basically generate the actual area where the body lies in the grass and sorry in the dirt so this also brings out a different type of look of tombstones I know sometimes they are very pretty and left with just the grass and maybe a little bit of a, a hill uh, so well not a hill but a, a lump where the body is but with grass on the top so I wanted to again mix things up a little bit and try both options out here some with grass and some with the actual um, sort of dirt burial one thing to take note of is I'll probably be using a different theme to what you are using as well so if yours doesn't look exactly like what mine does that's just down to the theme itself so don't get too panicky about that what we're going to end up doing here is actually putting down a grass decal all the way across and it hides that bottom texture sort of theme and makes things look a lot more realistic in my opinion you do tend to see churchyards a little bit more bright and colorful especially the newer modern ones um, I know there are some out there where it is a bit more run down and it all depends really what location you're from um, as to which one is more realistic to you and that's the idea of this series to give you a, an inspiration you may be looking at this thinking oh no I'll be doing it I'd rather do it this way and that way and that's why I want this series to to sort of achieve really to give you that inspirational boost it's, sometimes it's difficult to um, be on the ball all the time and understand exactly what you want to build so hopefully this video will give you a bit of an insight and a couple of ideas on what to build next um, and I think that's pretty much bringing us to the end of this build a bit of moving around here because I moved the land up earlier the uh, body started to rise which isn't good but we'll um, <laughs> We'll avoid that one but as I say I wanted to get the community a bit more involved in this uh, mini series I know the other ones a bit more harder to get involved with when it's uh, a purpose-built design which I'm working on a new series which will be available very soon but I'm hoping this will open things up a little bit more and by all means guys let me know what you would like me to build next I've got a few already in the pipeline from recent comments but we'll probably do a few polls on Twitter and Facebook to see what we do next. But just drop in the description below in the comment section. Just let me know what other builds you'd like to see next. I think the next one will probably be a typical allotment um, garden community sort of area. Which I haven't seen too many of um, video wise. So anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this new series will entertain you as much as it is me and I will catch you all very very soon. Thanks for watching and all the best.